you guys need to go over and do this to uh, Sahara Nellis, man. When I was over there, I was spray painting over graffiti like every day. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's well, and that's the kind of things we're working with the construction design side. So, you know, that would be one story. Walk away from the way to the This is kind of a Do you need anything more of me, gentlemen? No, nope. nope, we're good. That's, it. That's impressive, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. My name is Mike McCris, and I'm with American Polymer Corporation, and what you just saw was a graffiti removal off of a protected store. This store has the American Polymer coating system that was installed at the time the store was built, about a year and a half ago. Once uh, a tag occurs, the removal, just as you have seen, the store will uh, remain new looking all the time. And I'm going to show you the how clean the store has stayed, even though it's in a very, very aggressive graffiti environment, as you can see on the wall just across the parking lot. So the store basically has a protective coating that you remove kills the cycle and maintains the natural original aesthetics of the building. The coating will remain for over 20 years and stay looking like this during that period. Continuing on, this Walgreens is located in Las Vegas, Nevada uh, and was built uh, about June of 2008 and again you can see that the coating has not affected the aesthetic value of the architectural design. It goes on dead flat and remains permanent to protect constantly. And another example of this environment being a heavy graffiti zone and the integrity of the Walgreens brand is maintained and will be throughout virtually the life of the structure. We have now gone to uh, Walgreens here in Las Vegas on Nellis Boulevard and Sahara. This store is not protected with the graffiti, the American Polymer anti-graffiti coating, and we'll see what the result is. They're not faring so well with their battle against graffiti, as you'll see. As your customers are driving up, what they see. Here you'll see uh, how the paint has been compromised and eroded and now we have a two-tone store, the paints don't match. And again, the de degradation of the integrity of the brand is occurring daily. With the American Polymer system, the store would continue to look new day in and day out, just as you saw the store that we did the removal on in this clip. Here you can see where they paint patched over that tag with a different color paint, but yet on the block it's going to be there for years because it's embedded in the block and won't come out. So this store will maintain this uh, drastic appearance, unfortunately, for some time to come. 
this Walgreens is on is in Las Vegas uh, on Bonanza and it's the third example the second example of a store that is non protected with American polymers coating and as you can see the challenges it's facing and the losing battle it's having with the graffiti again a, a an environment that's left to degrade just continues to degrade and loses all of its environmental integrity. Here's an example of how paint patching doesn't work. You can see that the graffiti that was covered up with the paint patch approach has migrated and come back through the paint over. And you can see the graffiti visibly through the paint patch.